Windows 10 is one of the most versatile and feature-packed operating systems to date. It's been around since 2016, which in technology years seems like eons, but it continues to get regular update. But if Windows 10 is so great, why does it seem like there are still so many dissatisfied users? You would think that by now it would have become the standard and everyone would have just adjusted to it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. How's it going, very important people? If you're one of those who maybe doesn't have very positive feelings or experiences where Windows 10 is concerned, then this video is for you. I'm going to be addressing some of the most common complaints people have with Windows 10 and what you can actually do about it so that your time using the operating system doesn't suck. Am I allowed to use the word suck? One of the most common complaints about Windows 10 is that it slows down over time. So let's go over what you can change to get your speed back. These have all been tested on my mom's hefty old Dell computer and I can confirm that they do work. First, open settings and from there navigate to system, storage, and turn on storage sense. You want to select change how we free up space automatically. You can set when your computer clears out temp files and you can go ahead and clear them out for yourself while you're there. You can also turn off delivery optimization in updates and security if you don't need to download things from another computer on your network. Next, disable unnecessary startup and background apps. We don't advise that you disable anything that you don't have a full understanding of what it's doing, but programs like iTunes or Xbox Live, if they're starting up when you fire up your computer, or if they're running in the background while you're not actively using them, those are safe to disable and it will help your computer run fast. To turn off apps running in the background, from the settings menu, go to privacy and click on background apps. Here you can toggle the background apps off and on by clicking the slider. To disable startup programs, click Control alt delete and open the task manager. From the task manager, you'll navigate to startup and right click on any of the apps you want to, to disable. You can click disable and then you're done. Again, if you're not 100% sure of the function of the app, we don't recommend you turn it off, but there may be some obvious candidates for disabling. You can also enable best performance settings. To do this, go to your control panel by searching either in the Cortana search bar or right-clicking the menu button and scrolling up to search. Type in control panel, click on it. From there, go to system, then advanced system settings, then settings, and adjust for best performance. Another common complaint about Windows 10 is updates, and if you just absolutely hate being interrupted by Windows telling you that it needs to update, you can change the update settings so that updates don't hit when you really need your computer, so like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., for example. To do this, you go to settings, and then update and security, you want to change the active hours and this will let Windows know when you're using your computer the most so that it won't update you in the middle of work. Next is usability. Many people complain that Windows 10 is just too complicated, but usually this complaint is because they don't spend the time needed to get acquainted with the operating system. But if you want to simplify the layout and features, there are a few things you can do. If you don't like Cortana, you can remove her. To remove the Cortana search bar, you right click anywhere on the empty space of the taskbar down at the bottom of your screen and then select Cortana from the pop-up menu. You can still use the search function even with the Cortana search bar disabled. You just have to right click on the start menu and select search from the smaller menu that shows up. You can disable Cortana on the lock screen as well by going to the settings menu, selecting Cortana, and then turn off settings for lock screen. And you can also turn off any of the other functions that you don't want Cortana performing. If you get annoyed by the apps on the side of your start menu, you can turn off the tile animations, you can remove tiles, you can rearrange tiles, and you can drag new tiles from programs you actually use into that space to make them easier to access. 
It's a drag, drop, and right-click system, and that's it. And you don't have to see blurbs of news stories or Candy Crush Saga's annoyingly bright color palette. You can also just straight up remove all of these apps if you don't like it. And it will just leave a solid color block next to your menu. You can also adjust the brightness and taskbar color of your computer by going to settings, then system, um, and that's where you'll find the brightness wheel, scroller, settings. Anyway, that's where you'll find the brightness. And then from settings, if you go to personalization, you can find the settings for colors and background. From here, you can also choose your default app mode. Some people prefer light theme and some people for prefer dark because they say it's easier on the eyes, but either way, it could help you focus on the screen, so change it according to your preferences. Lastly is privacy. While Windows 10 has a lot of great features, it is also one of the most invasive operating systems. There's no point in denying that, but there are settings you can change to minimize how much information Windows is gathering from you. By default, a lot of apps have access to your account information and they just don't need it. So to change this, you'll need to go to settings, then privacy and general. From here, you can select change privacy options. You can turn off all the available options. And while you're there, you can also turn off permissions for the camera, microphone and location services on apps where you don't need them. To enable or disable access to your account info, go to settings, privacy, then account info. From here, you can turn access to the account info off. And if you feel like you need to, you can always put a piece of tape over your webcam when you're not using it. We hope that you found this video helpful and for more tips on navigating your Windows PC, click on any of the videos in the description below or above, depending on where you're watching. And if you're looking for the right technology solutions for your business, give us a call at 918-279-7000 for a free evaluation of all your technology needs. All you have to do is mention that you watch this video on any of our social media platforms. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.